In this video, you're gonna learn how to use Minimax AI, a new super cool video generation tool that lets you create amazing animations with just a text prompt. I'm Sam from AI for Marketers, and I hope this video is super, 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 super useful to you. I'm gonna do my best to review every single thing about Minimax and teach you everything about this software. So yes, dude, let's dive in. Okay, so first, Minimax is a Chinese company. Um, so everything is in Chinese, and unless you speak Chinese, you, you're gonna have to translate it with your browser. But as you can see here, like every important part of the website, once you translate it, is in, in English. So, you know, there's no problem in that. So to create an account, you need to log in with WeChat or your phone number. I don't have WeChat, so we're gonna log in with, with our phone number. Okay, so now that we're logged in and this thing is in English, um, I used ChatGPT to create a prompt of what I want to create uh, with Minimax. I told you guys I'm training for a marathon. I'm really on Strava, like the app for runners. I'm running like literally every single day. I'm not great at it yet, but I'm getting better. And I really want to do the, the marathon thing. So I asked ChatGPT to give me a text prompt to generate a video of a white guy, brown hair, running in Paris, dark blue attire, orange shoes, and cool cinematic shot. So he gave me this and I told him uh, I wanted like a of Tarantino in one of his movies. That's basically to create a super detailed prompt um, for this shot. Okay, so with this prompt right here that GPT gave us, we're gonna use Minimax, prompt word optimization activated, and let's describe it generate videos let's see how it does you can see here like what people have created right like you can see like there's a monster thing there's like a a room wow it transition to a cat and then this is a kid playing like super mario or something yeah the, the coolest thing is that you can see like the the, the description here the the prompt uh, this was like a super simple prompt but I guess that for example this one has like a bigger prompt right like a weird scary hybrid Animal plan, scrolling in the dirt, practical effects, post-apocalyptic movie scene, shot in red Komodo, directed by Andrei Tarskovsky. Yeah, so like in every other AI video generator tool, the more specific you are with your prompt, the better the video will come. Look at this one, for example. The camera looks down in a wooded area from a high vantage point. The sunlight penetrating the foliage and shedding dappled light. And you can see that it literally generated the exact thing that the, the prompt said. So yeah, this is actually like an amazing, an amazing app. Now I have to say, it takes a while to generate um, your videos like every other AI tool, but this one is minimum five minutes per video. So that time is not like super cool, but like, you know, it's going to get better also, right? Okay, so let's wait for it and I'll show you guys when it's done. Okay, so there we have it, our first generation right here. Hey, let's see it, let's see it, let's see it. Okay, it didn't make it photorealistic. I was uh, I was picturing something more, like something photorealistic. The thing is, I didn't, like, we didn't put anything about, like, photorealism. The running motion is great, right? And the uh, the background is the exact background we wanted. Actually, and, and I have to be honest, in, in, like, in this thing, guys, like, um, I, I have to be super honest. Like, this is the best motion I've seen from a video generating um, AI. Like all the other AIs are, are great at like details, but like the, the motion graphics, like the motion, the running motion, it's always like super weird. That's wrong way, Clang, Luma, etc. And in this one, like the first try is is perfect, right? Like that, that's a running motion, like the exact running motion I was picturing. There, you can even see that there's two types of running there, like one guy's here and the other guy's here, and they're running differently, but they both make sense to the eye. Like that, like that's how two people would run. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy that same prompt. We're gonna do it photorealistic. So we're gonna do the same uh, photorealistic, photorealistic. Let's try that. Okay, it's now ready. We just added like to the prompt the word photorealism. So it shouldn't be like something super, super different. Uh, but it should have like more photorealistic features and it does you can see it they're still not real but like more photorealistic than, than the prior one still perfect motion kind of perfect motion at the end is not the best but i also think it's because the composure the, the the way i compose the prompt what we're gonna do now is use a short prompt to see how minimax reacts to short prompts guy running in blue attire 
running in Paris. Let's keep the the prompt word optimization because that, that's gonna make like the uh, the the um, the prompt much better and generate video. Okay, so we have our newest creation here. Um, you can see like the prompts much much smaller than the last one. And yeah, the guy's running in blue attire and orange shoes, as we say in the prompt. And he's clearly in Paris. You can see it for, for, from the architecture in the background. Great running motion again. It did well for a super short prompt. You can see like the um, that it's actually like a sunny day, but like it, it didn't, it doesn't have uh, all of these details that it does have in in these two generations, like the cinematic view. For example, this scene shot is in the style of a Tarantino movie, and this is the type of shot you could see in a Tarantino movie, and this one too, right? Like they're escaping from something. But like this one, you would never see in that type of movie. It's like just a normal shot because we didn't have a specific thing on the on the on that part. Like we didn't say we we went in this style. We just we just said guy running in Paris in blue clothes and orange shoes, sunny day. So guys, I just want to tell you that with Minimax, you can actually also create music. Um, I don't recommend it because like it's not the best thing. Like here in the uh, the music creation, if you want to create like songs, you can use either. Suno AI, which we have a tutorial on, or Udio, which we also have a tutorial on. You can see both of them in the playlist. But, you know, it's also here. Uh, if you want to play with it, you can play with it. I'm just letting you guys know all the tools that you have um, inside of Howlio AI. It's an impressive tool. They need to create a better interface in English, because, like, even though I translated everything, it's, like, you know, this in Chinese, and, and it, it makes it a bit, you know, hard to understand what you're trying to create. But I have to say, on the video side, it's great. It's one of the best I've tried, by far. So I hope you guys liked that. Remember that this is, like, a beginner's tutorial for Minimax. So as soon as this platform gets like more advanced and better and you can edit the videos and you can add things to the videos, we're going to do an advanced tutorial teaching you how to use Minimax more professionally. But for now, this is all you can do with Minimax and it's actually super useful. So I hope you guys liked it and found it useful. If you did, please subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, you can go to this cool playlist.